Priyabhav. I worship Krishna. But with Krishna we have Parakya Bhav and the Braj, and with Krishna and Dwarka we have Swakya Bhav. So if we honor and worship Swakya Bhav, married wife, we honor and worship Dwarkadish from a distance. It's not part of our Ragmarg. Ragmarg, there's no Mahishi, there's no Mahishi Puja in Ragmarg, and there's no Dwarka Dhyan. We don't meditate on Dwarka, but in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, when it's talking about Vaidhi Sadhana by Rupa Goswami, he mentions about Dwarka Dhyan. Well, these are given up Churdye. These are Anga, Vaidhi Sadhana Anga that are given up in the Ragmarg, only these. So I, I'm, a, I'm a knower of Madhurya Rati, of married love and unmarried love. So I, I worship and honor Dwarkadish in married love and I meet a Ram Bhakti who is worshipping Bhagavan Ramchandra in married love in Swaki above Sita Ram, Yugalopasana, Yugalopasana worshipping together, Sita Ram Yugalopasana, Sringhar Leela, Vaan Leela, Chitrakut Leela, Bodhrahasya Leela, Ratikeli. This is exactly parallel. They can have, Sita and Ram have their, have their holy, they can have their Jalkeli, all things they can do. Because there's a Yodhya Ram, just like we have Kurukshetra Krishna, there's Kurukshetra Krishna, and there's then there's Vrindavan Krishna, then there's Dwarka Krishna. So there's a Yodhya Pati, a Yodhya Pati Ram, and there's Chitrakrut Ram, there's Panchavati Ram, Koi Bed, Koi Bed, heavy difference. Difference in Tattva, difference in Ras, difference in activity. So I, I've studied, my teachers have taught me many things. My guru. My guru is a pundit and a Brahmin and Bal Brahmachari his whole life. 80 years Bhajan and Vrindavan, 102 years life. <coughs> from, the, from the time he was 10, 9 years old, he never looked at interest in women, anything. So he taught so many things. So I, it's a great pleasure for me to, to meet a Parambhakt, uh, Bhagavan Ramchandraji. Not Parambhakt, <laughs> not here. No, you must be Parambhakt. Must be. How you came. You're born there in a very high quality family in the West because you're a very elevated Indian devotee of Ram. You're a Ramanandi Sadhu last life. You're a great Ramanandi Sadhu. Now you've come back to your land in this life. So I'm really happy to meet you and I pray you're blessed.